Class, settle down. Who here knows what gravity is? Gravity is the force that pulls small things towards bigger things. Exactly. When an apple falls from a tree, the Earth's gravity is what pulls it down to the ground. Headmaster Crane, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I need three speedy students to make a quick run up to Fuel Station Alpha for me. Ah, a fine opportunity to see gravity in action. Any volunteers? Ooh. If speed's what you need, then I'm your rocket. All right, racers, I need you to take these fuel tanks up to Fuel Station Alpha. Uh, do you know where that is? Yep. It's always in the same spot between the Earth and the Moon. We've been there a million times. Good, because you'll have to hurry. Coach Pigeon is returning from a flight with some younger students, and they'll all need to refuel. You can count on us, Coot. Launch sequence initiated in five, four, three, two, one. Primary ignition. Booster rockets. Engage. Wings. Back. Space visors. Down. Ready. Blast Shouldn't we be getting close? We've been flying for a long time. According to my odometer, we've already flown 200,000 miles. Fuel Station Alpha should be just up ahead. Ha! What'd I tell you? It's easy to find because it never moves. Let's unload these tanks. That should be plenty of fuel for Coach Pigeon and his class. Speaking of class, we should probably head back. What's the rush? We made it up here in record time. Crane won't be expecting us back for a while. Here, catch! Huh. I guess we do have a little time. Heads up, Hawk! Hey, Eagle! Go along! You okay, buddy? I... I'm fine. But what about... The fuel station looks fine, too. I think that's enough Orbo for today. Why don't we head back and... Uh, guys? The fuel station! Close to Earth's atmosphere. Already starting to heat up. Reverse thrusters! It's working! Woohoo! Now to put this thing back where it belongs. I think it was right about uh here. Perfect. Now let's head back before anything else happens. Oh, boy. Quick! Grab it! I don't get it! Why does it keep falling towards Earth? I don't know, but now it's falling toward the moon! Stay! Coach Eagle! Come in, Eagle! Everything okay up there? Uh, yep. Uh, everything's fine, Coot. We've delivered the fuel, and the station is definitely not falling out of place. Nope, it's staying right where it's supposed to. 
Yeah, well, that's good to hear, because Coach Pigeon will be there soon. Coon out! We need to fix this, fast! Any ideas? Before we left, Headmaster Crane said that this would be a chance to see gravity in action. Maybe gravity has something to do with this. Gravity? You mean like falling apples and stuff? Exactly. Gravity makes big things, like the Earth and the Moon, pull smaller things, like the fuel station, toward them. The closer you are, the stronger the gravity. So if the fuel station is too close to the Earth, then Earth's gravity will pull it that way. And if it's too close to the Moon, then the Moon's gravity will pull it that way! That's right! But maybe, if we can find a place where the Earth and Moon's gravities pull it the exact same amount, a kind of sweet spot, then the fuel station would stay in place! But how do we find the sweet spot? Well, there's always trial and error. Let's try something and see what happens. If it doesn't work, we'll try something else. Go on, let go of the station. Whoa! It's falling toward Earth! Try moving it closer to the moon. Now it's falling toward the moon! Move it back toward Earth again! This is crazy! faster way. We're just not looking hard enough. I'm afraid looking will not help. The sweet spot, as you call it, is invisible and cannot be seen. Hmm. We can't see it, but maybe we can measure it. Indeed, the sweet spot where the fuel station was once positioned is 38,000 miles away from the moon on a straight line towards Earth. Thanks, Ava. So all we have to do is measure 38,000 miles from the moon... And we'll find the sweet spot! We'll need some kind of tool to measure the distance. Step aside! I've got this one! I'll use my tape measure. That's it. Keep going. There! How far is that? Uh, not quite 38,000 miles. I think we need a different tool. One that measures big distances. Wait a minute. I think I've got it. We'll use my odometer. It tells me how far I've flown. All I have to do is start on the moon and fly toward Earth, and my odometer will tell me when I've flown 38,000 miles. Of course! And once you've found the sweet spot, Hawk and I will tow the station... The, the station! station! You guys go get it. I'll start measuring from the moon. All right. Setting my odometer to zero... Lining up a straight shot towards Earth, and Ha-ha! <laughs> now I just fly straight until my odometer says 38,000. Robin, Hawk, how are things going with you? Huh, not so good, Eagle. We'll have to call you back. Hawk, hurry! I, I got it! Robin, catch! got us into this mess in the first place? Won't be long now. Whoa! Oh, I can't go around them or it'll mess up my measurements. Can't you go any faster? Oh! Eagle, what's the holdup? I don't know how much longer we can keep this up. You gotta hurry, Eagle! Just give me a minute, Hawk. Come on, come on. Finally. Okay, now! Ha! Almost there! 37,997 miles. 37,998 miles! Danger. Fuel tank is low. Uh-oh. Almost out of fuel. 37,999 miles! Fuel tank is empty. This is it! Robin! Hawk! Over here! 
not moving. Uh, nothing, Coach Pigeon. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for towing up the extra fuel. Now, <laughs> do you mind? I've got a lot of students here who really need to refuel. I was, uh, just about to refuel myself, Coach. There, she's all yours. There you go. One at a time now. How does the fuel station stay in one place like this? Well, Starling, let me tell you about a little thing called gravity. <laughs> 